Welcome to Step 7, Implement Good Patch Management. Don't find yourself in this position. You say to your boss one day, our network is down because a vulnerability was compromised by a black hat. Your boss says, that sounds serious. Is there a patch for the vulnerability due out soon? You answer, well, a patch came out around a month ago, but I hadn't gotten a chance to apply it yet. Your boss says, expletive deleted. When a black hat attempts to compromise a host, they are often looking for a known vulnerability on that host. A vulnerability is any flaw or weakness on the host, that is, for example, in an application or on the operating system, that can be exploited. New vulnerabilities are discovered daily, and vendors publish patches to fix the vulnerability. Make sure that all applicable patches are applied to your network as quickly as possible after they are published. That is what good patch management is all about. So let's talk about a good patch management procedure. Step one, identify patches made available by vendors. Step two, identify the hosts on your network that need these patches. Step three, download the patches. Step four, test the patches on a system on your network. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, you never know if you deploy a patch, if that patch could actually cause harm to the workstation. So, if this is an important server that you're putting that patch on, you better test it in some way before you subject your network to, uh, to a possible problem. And the last step is deploy patches that, that test OK on all hosts on your network that need the patches. Now, for larger networks, you're going to use an automated software that performs the above tests. So they, there are several uh, pieces of software that, that you can purchase that are specifically for patch management. That is the end of this lecture. We'll see you in the next lecture.